Hey guys, how you all doing today? Today I'm in Bundaberg City and I found this little coin shop uh, slash toy shop. Uh, what I'm going to do is go in and show you what's in here. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the entry here is, it's Bundaberg, it's Bundy Coins it's called. Uh, and we've got gold nuggets, gemstones, watches, currency, militaria, jewellery, bullion, TCG. So they've got Pokemon, uh, model cars, and coins, banknotes, gold, silver. Now I do know they've got toys in here, so let's go in and have a look. I do follow these guys on Facebook. Okay, so there's looking like there's lots of different kinds of coins, banknotes, silver coins, all different types of things. I don't know much about coins. Oh, look, there's the Australian old banknotes. We've got things like this. Uh, there's a car in there, so I'm presuming there's going to be a lot of cars in here. Uh, some signs there as well. Okay, in this cabinet, we've got a heap of medals. Anyone into medals wants to get in here and have a look? Once again, I, I have no knowledge on medals, but um, it's always good to have a look at different things. More coins over here. Another whole cabinet full of different kinds of coins. Look at this big giant coin here. Okay, coming into a die cast car section. A lot of different cars here. These look like your 124 or 118 scales. Oh, there's 118 scales up top. There's for all you Kingswood collectors out there. It's a HQ, Kingswoods. Always good to see the Australian cars. Models of days gone. I presume they would be Matchbox. There you go, there's Matchbox on there. Models of yesteryear. Uh, some motorbikes there too. The bargain rack, there we go. All $10 each. I think they're pretty good, 10 bucks for those bikes. In this cabinet here, we've got some die cast cars set up out of the box. Here's your HQ Monaro. 
Look at the detail in that. Walking shore. And you gotta have a Tirana in here, don't you? Got a little rack here of Hot Wheels. Green lights. More of a larger die cast cars here. Quite a good selection in here, guys. Look, there's your Mad Max. More Australian cars here. Actually, this whole shelf is all the old Australian cars. Now, they're not easy to find, but here they are. There's a little box full of comics there. I'll get into that later. Okay, so coming into here, this is all the Pokemon section. Uh, this is Brad here. Say hello to Brad. Uh, he handles all the Pokemon side of it. So you can come in and say hello to him and uh, hopefully he'll give you a good deal on Pokemon cards. Always here to do good deals, mate. Always here to good deals. Good, good. Right, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's what we want to hear. So I'll just give you a few, uh, a little look at what's going on in here. Like, there's some good cards in here. So these are all your loose cards. Uh, there's heaps of loose cards in folders there, so I presume if you ask Brad, he'll get those out for you and you can flick through them. Uh, quite a lot in there. That, these, these folders are all full. Uh, and then he's got, look at all the big stack of Pokemon cards back there, and I can even see some baseball, or is that football? There's football cards there too. Right. Now what he's done is he's set up this cabinet so that you can actually see all these cards and it looks really good I'll just give you a pan of what you're dealing with like how good does that look especially these graded ones so lots of graded cards now there's a Charizard we just better just better zone in on that that's a 1999 base unlimited I might ask about that myself, actually. Well, this looks really good in here. We got these guys here. Now well, they've really put some effort into these glass cabinets. These Pokemon cards look great in them. more cards just sitting here randomly that you can flip through
and what would a toy slash coin shop be without your classic pop vinyls quite a few of them around here too guys and pop vinyls still proving to be popular been around for quite a few years now and I'll just give you a quick pan of pop vinyls in this whole wall okay so come in here if you're uh, if you're missing any to complete your collection oh, there's also all these anime statues in here in boxes uh, I I'm not I'm not too knowledgeable on anime but if you are into anime there is some things in here There's a chase. People always after chases. I know some people only collect chases. Look up there, look at that. Wolverine, that looks so cool. That's a one is to one scale Iron Man helmet. That looks so good. Even more graded Pokemon cards in this cabinet. Oh, and look, we've got some graded comics up there as well. Uh, these are all these are all Pooh variants. Uh, look like they're all signed. Always good to get a signed variant comic graded. Look at that. Got some bigger figures at the top there. There's a big Optimus Prime. And Predator, always popular. Look, they've even got a granny chair so that grannies can sit down. Okay, more coins in here. Vegemite. Here's your Vegemite coins. That's so cool. So many coins in here, guys. If you want coins, this is the place to come. And it's, look, I, there's so many coins in here, I just can't even fill them all. With, I'm going to miss something. Look, that looks like a $100 bill wallet. That's cool. And look, there's more die cast all over this whole section here. <coughs> oh, wow, look at that. Table made of money. There are some graded coins in here too, I've just seen. And there's a Scooby-Doo set of the Living Dead dolls. Now I've just got to show you this wall, guys, because it looks absolutely awesome. I'll just walk back and show you the extent of what you're dealing with. I can see all your Australian notes over there. Heaps of graded coins in that cabinet. And look, there's things like Ginger Megs there, Tamworth Music Festival. 
So many different coins. Looks really good. Oh, look at the Australian notes. They always look nice. Yeah, well, well, it might, might be worth it if you can send, send it also to get graded, because you will be able to get a lot more money.